Hey Beauts, happy nearly Halloween. Right, so this is the last tutorial that I will be posting in the Halloween period. Um, I will keep this voiceover short but sweet, um, primarily because I'm really not feeling very well at all. My hectic Halloween schedule has, as always, completely burnt me out and I've had loads of makeup jobs on as well. So yeah, I'm feeling very burnt out. Um, so I'll just give you a basic rundown of what I'm doing. So just applying some cream based white paint to my face to pale it out and then just applying some powder over the top to set that. And then you'll just see me doing a series of shading basically um, with different brushes just to make sure that's really, really blended. Just the secret to this tutorial in fact is just to blend 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 and blend some more and what you really wanted to do is just contour and add dimension and structure to your face um, and also just to kind of make yourself look a little bit more gaunt because you're a vampire you're undead after all um, so yeah you can see what I'm doing so I don't really need to tell you what I'm doing um, and I shall just let you watch and I will interject if I need to As you can see beauty I'm just really contouring the way that you would normally contour but just a lot heavier and with sort of cooler toned shading colours just to give yourself that real kind of vampire look. Um, but I hope you're all doing well, I hope you are all enjoying the start of autumn and the spooky season. Um, yeah and I shall let you get back to the tutorial. I'm doing a, sm a smoky eye but also just um, applying the same shadow sort of all around the eye just to give that sort of tired gaunt look. You want to look gaunt but you also want to look pretty because this is a kind of a pretty vampire after all. Well as pretty as vampires can be that is. basically just using a few different shades of eyeshadow. I'm using a kind of taupey, taupey, I never quite know how to pronounce that, um, light brown shade and then a deeper brown shade and I also went in with a sort of charcoal grey and a black as well and I'm just lining my eyes here too. Um, now another reason I'm kind of a bit, probably sound a little bit subdued in this narration is I'm feeling really really sad and a little bit heartbroken I have to say about the um, the death of Matthew Perry um, those of you that follow me may know that I am a massive Friends fan and have always been um, I know Friends is a little controversial these days because it's not very woke and not very PC and all of that but Friends has played a big part of my life and it's got me through some very difficult times so I'm feeling very sad today so yeah, that's another reason why I'm sounding a little bit, little bit more subdued than normal in this narration. Um, so back to the tutorial, you can see here I'm just doing my lips, just lining with a black eyeliner, which I'm just going to smudge out and then just smudge a little bit of black charcoal grey eyeshadow over the top too. quite sure what I was doing there, pushing my lips together like I could kind of remould my face with my fingers. Don't think that's going to work somehow, Charlotte. Um, right, now here I'm just painting on some veins. Now I just literally did this with a sort of a, 
was going to say a sharp ended brush that's not the right term for it kind of a flat brush so the end was kind of flat um, and I'm using a reddish toned eyeshadow and then just smudging that out a little bit with my finger and then you get veins I was going to use yarn which you may have seen me doing that in other tutorials but I wanted to keep this nice and simple a nice simple vampire that's easy for people to recreate and just smudging that same red tone just around the mouth and a little bit of grey as well just to give that kind of undead look I think I must have said that phrase about three times in this tutorial so far I'm sorry if you be quiet and just let you keep watching going in with some alcohol paint just to paint some blood around my mouth you can just as easily do this with a red liquid lipstick or just a normal red lipstick or even some fake blood if you wanted to recreate this vampire look the reason I'm going for alcohol paint is because it doesn't budge once it's on Just dribbling the alcohol paints down just to look like blood coming out of my mouth putting a little bit on my fangs too And then just doing a bit of a messy hairdo, a bit more blood on the fangs. Incidentally, the fangs are made from polymorph plastic, which is little beads of plastic, which you can just melt down in hot water and just mold to whatever you want, basically. And the final step, I'm just taking some clear lip gloss and applying that over that, the, that fake blood look, just to give it a fresh, glossy appearance. And that is it, basically. Beauty, we are done. So... Apologies for my ill-subdued um, narration, but I hope you enjoyed this one and thank you for your support over Halloween and yeah, subscribe and give me a like if you find it in your heart and I'll see you next time. Bye.